Hey guys, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I wasn't going to eat any more peppers today because I've eaten a few. But here's the deal. During pod season, these are my snacks, you know. Um, I know eating a ultra hot is not, wouldn't be a snack for the average person, but therein lie my issues. I'm so excited. It's, it's pod season, you guys, and this is like every day is Christmas. I'm going to show you something right now. Check this out. Look at that. Look at the array of colors. We got like a beautiful yellow pot here. Here we got a seven pot crossed with a reaper. Here we got a, a green pot, a beautiful chocolate. Uh, what is this, a seven pot crossed with a reaper. But the one that I'm excited about is the one that looks like a highlighter. This is a lime seven pot crossed with a reaper. Oh, oh. Oh, and these are on the Carolyn Kennard Memorial Pepper Board. She is smiling down on us today. All right, so I'm gonna put these to the side and this is the one I'm gonna eat. You guys, this, look at this up close. This is such a pretty pepper. Oh, look at it. The colors almost don't look real, you know? Gosh, it's beautiful, isn't it? You know, before you get into peppers, you think the pepper, you think jalapeno, serrano, bell. You realize there's such a world of peppers. They all look so different and burn so different, and taste so different. I'm guessing this is going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be fruity. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to be floral. Let's cut this open. You know, I need my camera just in case the inside is absolutely gorgeous. If the inside is absolutely gorgeous, then I'm going to have to snag a photo of it, people. We'll see. Anyway, here we go. We're going to cut this thing up. So, boy, it's, I got to tell you, it is such a pretty pod. Crazy fresh, too. Oh, yeah, that's going to have to be a picture. Boy, you wouldn't believe the way it smells. Got to get the smell of vision fixed. Smell of vision is down right now, you guys. Oh, my gosh. You aren't going to believe this. I didn't wait either. The size isn't so much the, boy, it is oily. Okay. Check this out. The seven pot, uh, a lime, lime seven pot cross with a reaper. Look at the interior. Man, it's dropped a pot. What a bummer. Look at that. It is so oily and beautiful. Now. It smells, you know what? Man, oh man. Sorry for all the noise. It's fruity, but it does have a, a kind of a, a floral thing going on. Here's one of those moments I'm smelling citrus notes. Honest to God, I'm smelling like notes of like almost. Just little notes of citrus. <sighs> so excited to eat this. Mouth is watering. Beautiful pepper. A lime seven pot crossed with a reaper grown by Randy Keaton from Keatley Farms. A gorgeous pepper. All those peppers I just showed you were grown by Randy Keaton. I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Wow. Floral be gone. Away with you. Oh. Wow, is that floral? I mean, floral.
every video someone asks, that tasted like a mouthful of soap, like cologne or perfume or like, ah, uh, wow. Whew. Oh, they're trying to embrace the floral. Man, it's a hard thing to embrace. It's rough. Um, the burn, let's talk about where it is. Um, it's on, boy, it's burning a lot all over, really. It was hot straight away. The tip of my tongue is just scorched right now. It's got reaper heat. You know, you got seven pot. They call it a seven pot because as legend has it, one pod can heat seven pots of chili. So you got something that hot across with a reaper. You get together. Oh. Um, my tongue is just on fire. Oddly enough, my throat's not. Now that's a trait you expect from seven pot primos and from reaper. So you would think that this pod would be like flogging my throat. Not so much. My tongue is just scorched, really. Honest to goodness. Uh, the front, like almost like a, the whole front of my tongue, just wicked hot. <laughs> not, not, uh, man, the pods are just getting hotter and hotter. I don't think this, this isn't quite uh, as hot as the hottest pot I've had all season, but man, it isn't far away. It's peaked and it's already on its way down, but. Um, now, here's the greatest thing. Now that that floral, now that floral is gone, oh, is that delicious. The flavor now is just incredible. And that's part of the beauty of these things. I don't know which one of these are going to be floral, which ones are going to be fruity. You know, usually yellow pods, no, I have no idea. I'm guessing this one's going to be kind of uh, floral, chocolate super hot sour. But the primatale I ate today really wasn't that floral. Um, this, I wouldn't expect to be floral, but I didn't think that seven, the, the one I just ate, the lime seven pop cross with reaper. And that's some of the fun of it. You don't know. Gosh, that's fun. All right, so my heat's down to about a one now. Uh, Non-chili would be a scorcher. Be a big time scorcher. Way, way, way hotter than any uh, habanero. You know, much hotter than a ghost, you know. That's a hot pepper. Strange burn. Uh, the burn's almost gone. Pretty close to me. That was a good snack, people. A yummy one. You know, that was a... You know, my one... You know, it's, a, it's a solid four for me. That was a solid four. But my one is would probably be uh, intolerable for most non-chiliates. Like what I find to be a one. Somebody who's not accustomed to chilies at all would find that to be, you know, probably more than they could handle. You know what? Hang on a minute, people. Wow. You may, sometimes, you guys, you may have heard me talk about a false peak on Reapers. It's happened to me on Reapers and Seven Pot Primos. I think it happened on one other pod, but I can't remember what pod it happened. I got an itch. I can't. Sorry. Anyhow. Uh, false peak. Uh, it, it peaks and you think, oh, okay, it's on its way down. This one just shot back up again. And here's the cool part. This burn is now migrating south. It's now, now it's got me in the throat. And now the tip of my tongue is fine. My mouth is fine, but my throat is now getting caned. Unbelievable. What a trippy pepper that was. Oh, it's a gift that keeps giving. Peaked, dropped, peaked again, and went from the tip of my tongue to my throat. So I got like a double whammy on that one, both with peaks and where I was getting burned. Right now my throat's kind of going Man, I'm right I'm back to about a three. That's so cool. I'm gonna hang with this for just a second, you guys. This is a strange pepper. This pepper doesn't want to give up. Gotta have respect for the, the lime seven pot cross with the reaper people. Um, Oh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute, people. This is important. This was a lime seven pot 
cross with a Reaper RK. This this pot is an F2. This one I just ate that looks like a, uh, you know, a highlighter. Like you took a pod and just went crazy with a highlighter. Um, that's a RK. It's Randy Keaton created that uh, cross. But it's in F2 stage. Wow. We're going to hear about that pepper. It is absolutely be great in not sandwiches. Oh, man. All right. Just got pepper in my eye, people. Oh, yeah. For sure. Wow. We're going to wrap this thing up. You don't feel bad. It happens to me all the time. If you make, this is probably the third time today I got peppers in my eye. Just part of the gig, people. Um, we'll be all right. Um, I say. Um, that's a pod you're going to hear more of, man. It's only an F2 stage. By the time that thing is stabilized, because here's the deal. He sent me the, the phenotype he's looking for. The, what, so what I showed you is a pod he's, gonna, he's trying to create. F3, next year, he's going to take the seeds out of the ones that look like heat, what he wants, and the, the ones that are the, the greatest heat. And what he's going to do then, um, he's going to grow them next, the next season. Those will be F3s, all right? And more pods will look like the one I just ate. Fewer pods will look like either of the parents, right? The seven pod, you know, uh, the lime seven pod. Fewer will look like the reaper. And each season, more and more, will look less and less of the parents and more and more of the, the, ch the phenotype he wants, kind of like the children. Um, and by season eight, after F8, that is a stabilized pod, which means if you get some seeds and you grow them out, they're all going to look like the one I ate. And that was a glorious pepper. All right, that burn is done now. So, man, that went to four, only on my tongue, avoiding my throat, dropped down to about two, and fired up to about almost a four again, um, and went straight to my throat, and then started the decline. That was a very interesting pepper, Randy Keaton. Wow, man, if you can get it to do that. I, boy, I have one more, too. I have one more of those. I'm going to see if it does that again, because if it, that's a trait that that pepper can do. Oh, 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 you got something there, Mr. Keaton. We're going to wrap things up. Thank you for hanging out with me. That was delicious. I probably won't need any more pods tonight. It's pod season, though. If I do, I'll film it. Um, thank you for hanging out with me. That was delicious. Right there is our pepper. Click that pepper. Become part of our family. If you don't want to miss a video, don't miss any videos. You know, we upload a bunch. Click the bell for notification. The drop, drop tab will come down. Hit all. You'll miss nothing. Right there is League of Fire. Love League of Fire. Um, can't say enough good things about them. The one time I don't say exactly what they do, someone will say, hey, what's League of Fire? Two more videos. You. You. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this was Chase the Heat.